What's up guys, it's Tom here and welcome to the Paris Saint-Germain Liverpool post-match analysis video. I'm sorry that this video is a little bit late because it was yesterday evening I was fuming after Liverpool lost this crucial game in the Champions League. This is now an Olympiakos scenario where in 2005 we needed to beat Olympiakos by two clear goals or 1-0. It's a similar scenario if Napoli score at Anfield because of away goals we have to beat them by two goals to have a better goal difference. Paris Saint-Germain really outplayed us. They had eight shots on target, Liverpool just had one and that was the penalty. But I think the main problem was the lineup and tactical. I don't know why Jurgen Klopp switched back to the 4-3-3 formation when we played so well with the 4-2-3-1 formation this season and I don't understand why we started with a flat uh, midfield three of uh, Wijnaldum, Henderson and Milner. Those players are, you know, workhorses, but they are no, not creative and they don't have uh, the legs to really, you know, penetrate the, the Paris Saint-Germain backline. Both Nabi Keita and Sh both Shakiri should have started, in my opinion, but at least one of them. And also another mistake in my opinion uh, in the starting lineup was to start Lovren at center back and Joe Gomez at right back. Maybe Jurgen Klopp thought we should start Joe Gomez so we have more defensive cover because Joe Gomez is better, a little bit better defensively than Alexander Arnold but Lovren is a lot slower than Gomez at center back and the Paris Saint-Germain attackers Time and time again, we're just running at the Liverpool backline. I have uh, the, the game's uh, highlights uh, running uh, just in front of me. And it's just embarrassing to see that so many times in the first 30 minutes, the Paris Saint-Germain attackers are bombing forward, three or four of them, and the Liverpool just have the backline uh, there. And Lovren is not a very fast centre-back lot slower than Gomez and I think also we missed Alexander Arnold's uh, you know uh, great runs uh, penetrating runs forward on the wing and his great crossing Joe Gomez's crossing is not as good as Alexander Arnold also at the first goal like Van Dijk tries to clear it it falls to Bernard but both Joe Gomez and Lovren is just they are just standing there and watching instead of clearing the ball and, and both Van Dijk and Alisson just do this like what what are you doing guys and that really gave a impetus to Paris Saint-Germain I have to admit I agree with Jurgen Klopp saying that that uh, you know the play acting was embarrassing by Paris Saint-Germain they were time wasting at every opportunity rolling the floor rolling on the floor not just Neymar but so many players like Dani Alves, uh, Thiago Silva uh, Mbappé, so many players were just play acting and, and trying to get Liverpool to get yellow cards and it worked. The referee was pretty bad in my opinion. He didn't even want to give up the penalty which was a stonewall penalty. Mane got cleaned out by I think it was uh, Di Maria. The referee gave a corner and uh, they, did, they didn't even give a foul. It was the the fourth or fifth official on the on the on the touchline who gave the penalty and that so that just shows how bad the referee was. They gave six yellow cards to Liverpool and the Liverpool weren't tackling maliciously. They just, uh, I think the, the Paris Saint-Germain players were just milking it at every opportunity and it was really really annoying to see. The second half Liverpool started pretty well but I felt there were a couple of opportunities where Liverpool really should have made more of the numerical superiority, we made some bad decisions but many people are playing the front three, blaming the front three uh, for not, uh, you know, uh, firing on all cylinders, but y you can't expect just the front players to create chances for themselves. You have to expect the midfield to drive forward or to put balls into the channels, into the areas where the front players can really, you know, hurt Paris Saint-Germain. And it was really, really frustrating, I have to admit, Vina, Dom Henderson and Milner together is a very unquery creative um, workhorse-like midfield. Three workhorses, three players very similar 
not one of them are standing out and what I also don't understand is we spent like uh, 40 million pounds on Fabinho he's on the bench still we spent uh, 50 around 50 million pounds on Naby Keita he's on the bench yes I know that he was out injured but still he came on in the second half, so he was fit to play. Maybe Jurgen Klopp wanted a more defensive midfield. Maybe Jurgen Klopp wanted Joe Gomez starting at fullback to be more defensive against Paris Saint-Germain. But you could see it, it was completely the wrong decision. Because in the first 30 minutes, Paris Saint-Germain were all over Liverpool. Liverpool couldn't string like three passes together. And we couldn't really put one really dangerous attack together and Liverpool's midfield were just overrun and I think Liverpool's not the Liverpool's game is not to defend Liverpool's game is to go forward to attack to to high press and also the high pressing has been not at uh, the at 100% this season not just in, in this game but in other games and maybe we are changing the style a little bit and I can understand that but still when we played in the 4-2-3-1 formation, we were much better, in my opinion. We, we really were much more threatening. Uh, I think the Mane made some really, really good runs, uh, especially before the, we got the penalty. And James Milner, credit to him for slotting the penalty away, sending Buffon the wrong way. And I think what we should do is we should play either James Milner or Fabinho as uh, the defensive midfielder and we should play Shakiri and Naby Keita on either side of him that would really give Liverpool a lot more creativity and a lot more momentum and flair from midfield we really badly miss a player like Alex uh, Alexis Chamberlain who can take the ball drive forward from midfield and then release the forward players. Vinadum, Henderson, Milner, so many times pass the ball, pass the ball back to the defense. And honestly, that puts really big pressure on the defense because the Paris Saint Germain are high pressed and counter pressed very well. So let me know what do you think about this game? Where did it all go wrong? And as I said at the beginning of this video, Liverpool are in big trouble because Napoli are not Olympiacos of 2005. Napoli are a world class team and Liverpool have to beat them by two goals. And if they score at Anfield, we have to score three or four goals against Napoli. That's not impossible. Liverpool certainly can do it. But we have to turn up and we have to play much, much better than we did against, uh, against these guys. And Liverpool now lost five away games in the Champions League. We lost to Roma in the semi-finals away from home 4-2. Then we lost to Real Madrid in the final. And then in this group stage, we lost to Napoli, Red Star Belgrade and Paris Saint-Germain away from home. It's actually quite amazing that Liverpool can still qualify with a win at Anfield by losing the f f their three group stage games away from home. And that is the first time that happened uh, with Liverpool in Europe. And you know Liverpool's rich history in Europe, so I think that's quite amazing. Also, I'm really, really disappointed that... Uh, that Liverpool are in this situation because if, if Liverpool beat Red Star Belgrade in Belgrade we, 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 could, we could afford to lose to Napoli, we could afford to lose to Paris Saint-Germain because then Liverpool would, would certainly be almost through we, we would probably need a draw against Napoli at home to qualify I'm not sure about the mathematical permutations but let me know guys honestly what should Jurgen Klopp do to revive this Liverpool team because in the Premier League, we are doing brilliantly, we are unbeaten, we are beating all the smaller sides. But my worry is that against the big teams, we are not that great. We will beat Tottenham and that's our only win against the big sides uh, this season in the Premier League. And also we beat Paris Saint-Germain at Anfield with a last minute Firmino goal. So not losing to Napoli away and Paris Saint-Germain away can happen to even the best of teams. But to lose to Red Star Belgrade could cost Liverpool a place in the knockout stages. And I'm really, really disappointed uh, that Liverpool didn't at least get a draw. Because if Liverpool get a draw here against PSG, then Napoli qualify already 
with a game to spare and then they can come to Anfield and just relax a little bit and maybe Napoli wouldn't be on 110% already being already qualified so that is also a factor to take into account that Napoli will be fighting for their lives at Anfield because if they lose to, to by, uh, by two goals to Liverpool they are out so they will be well up for that game let me know what did you think of the game in the comments below and thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it see you later guys goodbye